Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Iowa Plains View and the Zero to Hero Challenge. Our first order of business this morning is going to be to fertilize this grass field so that we maximize our yield. And then we're going to head back over to the farm and we're going to take care of some business over there. We have some errors we need to correct and we need to install some new productions as well. But first things first, let's get this field fertilized. Now we're 100% fertilized and we'll get as much grass out of this field as we possibly can. I'm going to hit this one last little spot here and I'll meet you guys back over at the farm. Now the first thing I'm going to do is unload all of this fertilizer. Then we're going to shove it all in here. I think that this will distribute to all of the productions that we need it to, all of our greenhouses. Um, including the new ones that we're going to add in just a bit. Do I have to lift these up? What happened there? Oh, joy. It sunk into the ground. Wow. Okay, this is inconvenient. I bet there's an easier way. But to get this one out of the ground, I think we're going to have to load it into our spreader here. Yep, and it disappears. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and return this spreader. Okay, now I'm going to grab the trailer because I think it's going to take a lot less time if I just load these on the trailer and let them empty by themselves. You might notice that I have a different trailer than I had last time. Uh, that's part of the changes that I think we need to make here today. Um, that's one change I've already made, actually. I don't know what's going on 
with me and pallet auto load specialization but it doesn't like me very much lately so i was having a trouble tra having problems with it on um I'm so sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time. Especially not with the Dolly trailer. Uh, I was having problems on Silver Run Forest with um, with my pallet auto load trailer. And I, I still don't know what the issues were, but a lot of the new pallets just wouldn't. They wouldn't load, they wouldn't unload. Um... So I had bought a, uh, a pallet auto load trailer over there and it didn't work. And then I tried it again on Wastelands and it just didn't work right. So I don't know if it's me. If I have an old version, I'll go back and delete all of the pallet auto load specialization stuff I have and reinstall all of the newer versions. I'm sure I haven't updated it since it was originally released along with, well, not long after 22 was released. So... That probably needs to be updated, but I went ahead and sold that trailer, even though I liked it a lot and it was easy to back and it was about the same size as this one, but I loaded all of the uh, clothes boxes onto it, trying to organize them a little better and it loaded them up just fine, but it would not unload them. So I think that's kind of a deal breaker for me. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, use this trailer it's working uh, i just have to tell it that it's okay to load any because i think that was my problem last time it wouldn't load a partial yeah there we go okay the only problem is it's a dolly trailer like i said and i just don't back dolly trailers so you spend a little more time circling around you can handle that. So, I've spent way more time trying to dump this fertilizer in here than I probably would have had I just held them up over the load point. But now we go, we can watch them all empty at the same time. That's kind of fun. Okay. So we're done with that fertilizer. Now, the other problem that we're having over here and man i don't know if it's me and mods or if it's you know the release of the platinum edition has has uh caused an update in the base game as well that has broken some things um i just don't know this barn over here has worked for me well in the past but it's not working now. It's not distributing anything as far as I can tell. Let's look. Yeah, it's got the same amount of digestate as it had before. And it should be distributing digestate to our fertilizer maker over there. So if it's not going to do that, then it's just kind of a liability. Uh, it's going to make me have to fill up trailers and take them across the yard and that just doesn't seem like a good use of my time. So, we're going to empty everything out of this. We're going to install a, um, a silo that we can put all of this stuff into. We'll transfer it over to the silo. We'll get rid of this. We'll take all of the uh, fertilizer out of that. And also put it in the silo and we'll get rid of that. That should give us back about 60 grand. And then if we add another few grand on top of that, we can get a much better version of this that will produce everything this produces and more. Uh, and I think it will ultimately end up with us making more money. So that's what we're going to spend some time doing right now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of the total mixed ration. We're going to feed the cows because they need some food. And then we'll build our silo and dump the rest of that in, in, in the silo. And then ultimately it's going to have to come out of the silo and into our new facility. I guess the total mixed ration doesn't. 
I guess we can just feed out of the silo until it's all gone. So we'll do that. Unfortunately, the digestate is going to have to come out of the silo so that it can go into the new facility and make fertilizer. Uh, and the hay as well is going to have to go into the silo and then come out of the silo. So there's going to be a lot of transferring of things around. All right, the cows took a little more than that than I thought they would have. So that's good. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is put in our silo. And I think it can probably go right here. And if you watch my videos, you know this is the silo I always use. But I just can't find a good reason not to. It's 5 million liters. It will take anything. And it costs $5,000. I, I, I would be foolish if I didn't use this silo. So I'm going to landscape a little bit. I'm going to put some fresh gravel in here while I'm thinking about it. Make this look a little more intentional. I'll spend some time with this off camera so that we end up making it look pretty nice. Before our time here is done. Okay. Okay. That'll work for now. All right, I'm going to bring you guys back when I'm ready to put in the new production facility. All right, so everything is out of that facility right there. I finally found something this silo won't take. Digestate. I had no idea. I took it out of there a second, right after the total mixed ration, and I realized that this wouldn't take it. So at that point, I had to put it back in, take everything else out, and then take the digestate last so that I could hold it in the trailer while we swap facilities here. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to go with something considerably more expensive but let's see what we can get for this one 19,000 well that's not great but it is what it is and there was a lot of water in there but I really wasn't sure how to get it out and so the water is lost we are gonna go with Something I've used before again, just because I know it works. The Field Products Factory. It's $100,000, but it works. It works like a champ. So we're going to put it, we're going give, <laughs> to give ourselves a little more room here. And put it there. Alright, that'll work. So now we're going to work on loading everything up into here. This facility is also a bit faster than the other one, so... Alright, I'll bring you guys back when I've made all of the transfers and we're ready to put in our new greenhouses. Alright, so I got everything moved over into our new facility. Uh, I will be setting up all of the distribution and and all of that uh, off camera, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and get started with our new greenhouses. We are going to grow watermelons. Watermelons normally bring a pretty good price, 
Let's look. If I can find the right menu. Let's see if it's on the on the list. We may have to put in a sell point for them before we can actually see the price. I see melon. Oh, there's watermelon. Yeah, so the seasonal price shows them at $1,000 per 1,000 liters. That's pretty good because watermelons grow pretty fast. Now, there's, a, there's a, only about a $200 fluctuation between the highest and the lowest price, too. So we should be able to sell those consistently all the time and not have to wait for the best price. I guess we don't have to wait for the best price on clothes, but it seems silly not to, especially if we can make some other money by uh, selling watermelons. So let's get those down and get them working. Let's see here. Production greenhouses. And this, this one, I guess we could grow melons too. I think watermelons are the higher price. Let me check before we put them down. We'll see. So they're, they're the same price. So I guess it really doesn't make a difference. We could put down some melons and some watermelons. Why not? A little variety never hurts. We'll go with... I think I'm going to put down four of these and see how that goes spin them around because I think the spawn point yeah it's on this side too these take manure and as of right now we don't have anything well we have cows and we have um we have our our new silo but we don't currently have any straw and in order to get manure you got to have straw so for now, we're going to buy manure because I found a I found a sell point that we can place right here, fill up our trailer with manure. All right, so we have four watermelon greenhouses. Uh, we may put down some melon greenhouses next, but we'll start with watermelons. I'm going to go ahead and put our manure point over here. Because we can also use manure for our open gardens. So let's put down our manure point. That should be under containers. There it is. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and face it this way because I think most of the time we're going to be heading back towards the the greenhouses. I guess, you know, I guess I could put it over here. Could put it right there. No, that's going to get in the way. So I'm going to put it over here because we may, we may end up not using it once we find a good source of straw. Because that's our only issue right now is we have no straw in order to make manure. So I may get out and do a harvesting contract. Uh, and once we sell some clothes, then we can, we can buy a field. But fields right now in this map are pretty pricey. So we're going to go with buying manure. I have no idea how much manure these will take. I'm guessing they probably take about 10,000 a piece. So we're going to start with 40,000 liters and see what that costs us. <laughs> okay, so f almost 40,000 liters of manure cost us $1,300. I don't know that we can... I don't think we can source it any cheaper than that. I don't think we can produce it ourselves any cheaper than that.
Yep, that took 10,000 liters. Let's see if it'll unload this way. Nope. I'm going to have to get in there. Glad I left enough space. Alright, we got all our manure in there, and we're going to hope that our distribution system will send water over here. So, let's go in to our productions and page down our long, long list of productions. I'll get the mouse involved here, because it's going to be down here on the end. All right, we've got those all turned on. We've got them storing. So we're going to speed up time, get to the end of the hour. And see if we start growing watermelons. Actually, I think we did. There's watermelons there. I don't know. Well, let's stop time and we'll see. Well, not stop time, but slow it down anyway. Yes, we did get water from our distributor. So, excellent. We'll just have to keep that full all the time. And we'll have to watch the manure here. But with our little manure buying station over there, that's going to make life a lot easier. All right, so big changes on the farm. And my hope is that when we sleep and wake up the next time, we're going to have a load of watermelons. We're going to have more clothes. And we're going to be closer to becoming millionaires. If you like this episode, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you didn't like this episode, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.